All right, lads, how you doing? Welcome back to Baggy TV. I hope you guys are having a fantastic morning. And if you're not, get some breakfast and things will change, hopefully. Listen, lads, today I'm going to be giving you a video that is a little bit different. I'm not going to be giving you updates, news reports and whatnot. I'm going to be giving you my point of view in respect to something that I believe will be happening over the next year or so. The next couple of transfer windows. I have selected the 11 players, the, the starting 11, that I think Chelsea will be selling or will be parting ways with over the next couple of transfer windows, over the next season. Some of these players might be out alone, but probably most of these players will be sold. But uh, it's my point of view, it's my perspective, I could be wrong. And also, if I am wrong, you can let me know in the comments. Anyway, before, before we get into my starting 11, I'm going to ask you to do me a favor, and that is to subscribe to Baggy TV. If you're a Chelsea fan and you enjoy Chelsea-related content, this is the channel for you. And if you're just a football fan in general, um, you know, give me a subscription. I'd appreciate that. And if you do subscribe, make sure you turn that bell notification button on. Give the video a like, comment, and share it. Now that I've got all the plugs out of the way, let's jump into the video. So lads, the 11 that I've selected are the 11 players I think will be part in ways with Chelsea Football Club over the next two transfer windows, the summer and the winter window to follow. Some of these players will be going out alone and others will be sold. So the formation that I've chosen is a 4-2-2-2 formation. And you'll see why in a minute. Anyway, so in goal we have Kepa Ariza Balaga. Kepa Ariza Balaga is one of the most expensive players to sign for Chelsea, if not the most expensive player to sign for Chelsea. However, Ariza Balaga has had a lot of issues. Recently, he hasn't been the best and he has been replaced by Edouard Mendy. Therefore, I believe Kepa will be uh, either loaned out or sold in the next two transfer windows. And the reason being is... Chelsea are looking to secure some good trophies, some good results, mount a challenge for the title, and they can't do that with Kepa in goal. And, you know, maybe they can't do that with Mendy in goal. It's debatable. Mendy is a great player, but Chelsea will be upgrading their goalkeeping situation, and therefore Kepa Ariza Balaga will probably be on the way out in the next window or so. Now, in defense, we have Tomori and we have Mpadu. We all know the story behind Tomori and AC Milan. It does look like Tomori will be going to AC Milan. Now, you all know my point of view on this. I think we have messed up the situation there. Tomori is a great player and one that should be, you know, the future of Chelsea's defense. But it is what it is. And Tomori will be going to AC Milan in the next transfer window. And Mpadu is another player that I don't think will be around at Chelsea for, for very long. Ampadu is a very talented young player, one that does have a lot of good attributes in defence, in, in the defensive style of play. But I don't believe that Ampadu will be given the opportunity in our defence. I think Chelsea is looking to upgrade to a world-class level of defenders. And Ampadu, at this point in time, is not there and he will probably be loaned out or sold over the next couple of windows. Now, in regards to my left back and right back, I have got Emerson Palmieri and I have got Kennedy. Yeah, um, Emerson Palmieri is not a right wing back or a right back, but now there is Kennedy. Now, Kennedy is a very good player, a very talented player, but is one that has had his fair share of problems. Even though he's currently performing quite well out alone, I do believe that he will not be a regular in the Chelsea starting lineup next season. And I think he will either be sold or sent out on loan again. I prefer him to be sold to generate cash, to generate revenue for us to spend on developing and upgrading our team. Emerson Palmieri, we all know about Emerson Palmieri. I've spoken about him in, in a couple of times. Emerson Palmieri is one of those players that does have a future, but I don't think it's with Chelsea. I think he'll be going to Serie A and probably Inter Milan, Juventus. There's a couple of teams interested in, uh, in Emerson. And I think he will be sold in the next transfer window. Now, in the heart of our midfield, it's Bakayoko and Danny Drinkwater. I've talked about Bakayoko in the past, but in regards to Danny Drinkwater, 
Danny Drinkwater is currently out alone uh, in the um, the Turkish league. Danny Drinkwater has never had a good run at Chelsea Football Club ever since he's come in. He's been a bit part player and he spent the best part of this current season playing uh, for the development squad and, and now he's out alone in Turkey. I think he's a player that we will be parting ways with as well as Bakayoko. Again, another good player, but is one that never had the confidence and the ability to perform at Chelsea Football Club and is currently out alone in Serie A with Napoli. And it does look like uh, Bakayoko will be staying in Napoli for another season, either a loan extension or maybe he will be sold to Napoli in the next transfer window. Now, in the uh, attacking midfield positions, we have got Ruben Loftus-Cheek and Ross Barkley. Two very good English midfielders. Two English midfielders that had a lot of potential, that have a lot of potential and have had some good... They've, they've played a good part in, in Chelsea over the past couple of seasons. That being said, they were sent out alone because of different situations. Ross Barkley, lack of form really. Ruben Loftus-Cheek coming back from an injury. Chelsea wanted to give them the opportunity to shine elsewhere. And to a certain degree, they both have done. Um, Ruben Loftus-Cheek at Fulham. They're not doing so great. And Ross Barkley at Aston Villa. Again, Aston Villa is doing all right. That being said, there is a very good possibility, a very high possibility that both of these players will be sold or loaned out again in the next transfer window because... Well, let's just be honest with you guys. They don't really have what it takes to be at Chelsea Football Club no more. The, the level that we are aiming for, the level that we are aspiring for is a lot bigger than Ross Barkley's current form and current situation and also Loftus-Cheek. Now, could these guys improve and become, you know, at the level that we want? Yes. Do we have time to wait? I'm not so sure. Now, in regards to the two attackers, yeah, two, 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 the two attackers, the two attackers is Bashwai and Tammy Abraham. As you all know, Bashwai is out alone currently this season. Not the best of loans for Bashwai. Tammy Abraham, we talked about him in the last video. He's been plagued with lack of form, injuries, not being selected enough. And also he has a contract issue. Um, Tammy Abraham has, I think, two years left on his contract. His contract expires June of 2023. Therefore, Chelsea will be looking to cash in if this guy is not going to extend his contract. And by the looks of things, he won't be extending because Chelsea is looking to bolster their strikers, their attacking players. So that We will be getting a couple of attackers in the next transfer window. Therefore, it is very unlikely that Tammy Abraham will be willing to extend his contract. He will probably be on his way out in the next window or so. And that's why, again, another loan spell out or a transfer to a different club. Lads, there is some honorable mentions. There's some honorable mentions. Jorginho. Jorginho is a player that could also be on the way out because of what we've been hearing in regards to you know his agent and what he has been saying. Jorginho is a player that could be on the way out. There's also a notable mention or honorable mention for Marcos Alonso. Another good player, a player that didn't have the best season because of disputes with the former manager. Alonso may also be on the way out, lads, because of, you know, Chelsea's need to upgrade. Now, in regards to the other players, some of the new transfers, there's, there's a lot of talk and a lot of rumors about other players that could be on the way out, that could be coming in. We'll discuss that in future videos, lads. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's just something that I wanted to share with you, some thoughts and ideas. So lads, in the comments below, let me know what you thought about this start at 11. Is it realistic? Have I missed anything out? Have I overlooked something? Let me know your points and views on these players. In the comments below, let me know. Anyway, lads, thanks for watching my video. Have a great day and I will catch you in my next upload. Please give the video a like and subscribe. Take care. See you later. Peace out. Oh,